what's going on, bro? What's your name? Uh, Eric. Eric. Yeah, yeah. So, Eric, I want to understand. So, are you using Romans 2? That's Romans 2 and 28? 28. 28 yeah. Romans 2 and 28. Are you using that to say that anybody can be a Jew? Yes. That's incorrect. Uh, What's it called? You could be uh, born again. Um, born again? Spiritual Jew. Eric. Uh, listen, no, listen, Eric. 11, uh, was it grafted in? Okay. Grafted in? Now we getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did you learn that at? The Bible. No, you didn't. That's Christianity. We're going to go to that and we're going to explain it for you. Hold Give on, me on, Romans on. 2 and 28. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Eric, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Outside of this. Wait, wait, wait. Outside of this. My wife is at home, so I'm about to get in trouble. I don't want those problems. Neither do you. So, uh, Eric, I'm going to give you five minutes. Okay, and, that's okay. fine. That's fine. I just got to set a standard. Cause but when you say something, you have to give us a chance to answer. Okay, got you. So, let's read Romans 2 and 28. It's the book of Romans chapter 2 and verse 28. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Uh -huh. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. Uh -huh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. Uh -huh. And circumcision is that of the heart, uh -huh. in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. So, let me answer. Let's get to understand. In Christianity, they twist and turn scriptures and say that the scriptures mean all nations can come in. All nations can come into the fold. We're going to deal with this one step at a time. Let's get the understanding of this verse. Read it again. We're going to break it down piece by piece. Read. Book of Romans chapter 2 verse 28. Uh -huh. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Stop. Eric, are you familiar with who wrote this? Who wrote this? Paul. That was Paul. What was Paul's nationality? Uh, Jewish or Hebrew. Paul was a Jew, an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. He wrote this letter because Romans is not really a book. It's technically a letter he wrote to the Jews that were in Rome. Yeah. So when he made this statement, read it one more time. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. He is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. So I want to ask you, Eric, do you know any history? Yeah. What men were professing themselves to be Jews outwardly? I'm going to leave you with that. Uh, if you don't know, just say you don't know. I don't know. Give me Matthew 23 and verse 23. Bring it it out. was the scribes and oh, Pharisees. Oh, 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 the, uh, scribes and Pharisees. The, uh, what about the half-breeds? The half-breeds yeah. were from who? Uh, what were they called? Samaritans. Those were not half breeds. That was the northern kingdom of Israel. Oh, the teach. other nine tribes. Okay. So, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. one thing wait, at a time. Cut, Eric. Wait, wait, wait. Cut to, Eric. Wait, wait, I gotta cut to the chase. How do, how does a person get to heaven? Okay, we can answer that. Okay. But we can't jump from question to question. You okay. ask a question and then when we answer, you jump to something oh, else. Romans, the so, Romans 2.28, right? Wait, right. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 23 and verse 23. These were the men who were professing themselves to be Jews outwardly, but not inwardly. Read that. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Why? Ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, uh -huh. judgment, mercy, and faith. These are ye have to done, and not to leave the other undone. Uh -huh. Ye blind guides. Uh -huh. Would strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. What was Christ saying? They walked around and put on the act like they was righteous. Yeah. But behind closed doors, they were evil. Yeah, Teach. Right. They were not keeping God's laws. That's why I go back to Romans 2 and 28. That's why, Eric, we got to get rid of Christianity. At one time, I believed a little bit of that. I thought that Christianity was the right way. But they have been teaching our people, the Hispanics, the Bible, the wrong Wait, That's right. this is your book. Nobody can teach this book to you but your people, because your people had an understanding. Bring it yeah. Read that. Romans chapter 2, verse 28. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. So Paul said, you not a Jew just because you outwardly profess it. Read. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. He said, neither is circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. He's not talking about you don't get circumcised because that's a law in the Bible, right? Abraham got circumcised. God gave him that covenant. Moses brought it back in Leviticus 12 and told us to circumcise our sons. So we wait, wait, wait. I'm not finished, Eric. We're not going to interrupt each other. We're not going to interrupt each other or jump. 
one thing at a time. We got a few minutes. So, if you have to leave, Eric, that's fine. Okay. But I cannot allow this wrong understanding to be taught to my people. Okay. I cannot. So, he's not saying don't get circumcised. He's saying inwardly you must be circumcised. Your mind must change. Read on. <clears throat> but he is a Jew which is one inwardly. Uh -huh. And circumcision is that of the heart uh -huh. in the spirit and not in the letter. Not in the letter. What's the letter? The law. The law? Who? Uh, the first five books of the Bible? Correct. That's not saying not keep the commandments. Yeah. That's saying we no longer keep sacrifice. Now, let's go to Deuteronomy 10 and 16. We finna see what is it talking about? It said, circumcision is not of the flesh, but of the heart. He said, circumcise your mind. Your mind must change. Don't we got a lot of people in church today saying they know God? They running up here to and fro. They passing out food, doing all of these things, but they are not keeping God's commandments. That's right. So you must actually be keeping the law. Uh, my timer went off. Read the book of Deuteronomy chapter Again, 10. Hold on, Eric. My if you have to leave, bro, that's fine. But we are going to teach our people the correct understanding of this scripture. That's Read right. that, and then we're going to talk about how do you get into heaven. How long, Read. Wait, wait, how long this is the book of Deuteronomy. That, that doesn't take long, but you said you don't have time. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, uh -huh. and be no more stiff-necked. For the Lord your God is God of gods. So, I'm getting to the point. When Paul says circumcise your heart, he meant change your mind. That's right. You cannot get a knife and circumcise your brain. He's saying change your mind. The mindset has to change. You Read can say up. you love God all you want, but if you do not do what he says, you are a liar. Teach. That's right. Now, how do we get into heaven? How do we get into heaven? We go, we go to church, they tell us if I pass out some food, if I follow Ash Wednesday, I'll get into heaven. What does the Bible say? We're going to go to the Son of God. Read. Now, There's Eric, a... we're going to go to Jesus. He's going to tell us how to get into heaven. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Read. There's a book of Matthew. Whatever, chapter... whatever name you find with. Read. The book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master. What good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Now, this is a question that we all ask. Am I right or am I wrong? We all ask, how do we get into heaven? Everybody want to go. But are you willing to do what is required for you to get into heaven? Yeah. That's the question. Read. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. So he said, don't call me good. There is no good but one. Christ always gave glory to the Father. That's right. Read. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, here we go. You want to get into heaven, that's how you get in there. You should be all ears. If you want to get into heaven, this is how. Read. Keep the commandment. It's plain as day. It's simple. Keep the commandment. That's, right. that's how you get into heaven. Right. Now, I'm going to bring the brother back. Any further questions, he's going to deal with it. But we had to we had to address that because that's false teaching. Do you realize when you tell people they don't have to keep God's laws no more, you cause chaos and destruction? That's why I'm around sleeping with other men's wives, robbing, stealing. You telling people in the church they don't have to keep God's laws. One of the ten that everybody talk about is thou shall not kill. Right. You have millions of our people thinking they don't have to keep that. Jeez. Think about how detrimental that is. Right. Used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.